you know, we use the expression scold a dog. Scold a dog, like what's that? So it's the dog that knows it. Like my dog Bella is the best dog ever. Everybody's got the best dog ever. Maybe not, but I love Bella. And Boo, we have, we have a Bella and we have a Boo. Boo's this little white Pomeranian that's not much of an athlete. Bella is a sheepdog shepherd mix that's this crazy smart and athletic. I can throw a Frisbee anywhere and this dog will go hunt it down and catch it. It's unbelievable, okay? But she got up on the counter the other day and pulled the rotisserie chicken my son left out. She knows better. And as soon as, <laughs> as soon, we didn't have to say a word, she looked like this. We walked in the house and she was like, I'm in trouble. But damn, that was good. You know what I'm saying? Like she knew. We didn't have to say a word. She looked so guilty. It was hysterical. So here's what we see. We, we see people feeling correctness and over angles. You know what I mean? Like see how my butt's back. I have a lot of flex in my knees. It's hard to move in this space. Like it really is. It leads to kind of a little bit of what you do, Dave, is, or Champa, is you know a little bit too much around before you kind of sort it out. That's why you did really well kind of just you know, doing the no turn backswing stuff, okay? So the whole school to dog thing is, you know, I joke about getting this belt line from so steep. See my belt line's very steep right here to a much flatter belt line, okay? So one of my coaches, Aaron Olson, great coach, who's at Monterey Peninsula Country Club, he used to talk about standing in a phone booth in London, those little red ones. And you, want, you don't want to feel like you can put your butt cheeks on the glass and get your fair, head, you know, forehead grease on the glass over here either. You want to feel like you kind of stand in that thing, forehead off the glass, buns off the glass, and flip through the phone book, okay? Rather than to bam, bam, pressing your cheeks on it, popping your head on the glass on that side, make sense? So it's a tricky one to feel, but when you walk into this, pre-grip it, because I want you kind of doing it now. So as I'm walking into this, you can't tell, but I'm kind of tucking my belly button Flattening my belt line right now, okay, so that's flatter, and I'm even doing a little ab crunch, not a hard one, just a little one to get my belt line flatter, pairing my hands, taking a look, okay, now I feel like I'm in that phone booth, I'm not all angular butt back, you with me? Because what happens is when we're, we're going to find our dynamic balance, and then we're kind of encroaching on the area the club wants to swing, the handle needs to pass through in order for you to really hit good shots. What a lot of people that encroach on the handle do, they have to raise it, the toe goes down, or they have to manipulate the face too much. Okay, so when you guys are walking into the shot, get your nice lead hand on there, choose your target. Walking in, I'm starting to think about the belt line. Now, if I didn't say anything, you, you wouldn't even notice what I'm doing right now. See how that's not s posture Buns out. It's school the dog, buns in, pair the hands, in the face, take a look. Now my upper center of my chest and my lower center are way closer together. I'm not big separation one to one. And then when I rotate now, there's, there's no dynamic change. Am I communicating this to you guys? Yep. See what I'm saying? Yep. So a lot of what you guys are doing, you two guys, pretty damn skilled, lots of upside, lots of speed is let's take away this look. So you want to come in like, you're going to build it by kind of sneaking up on the ball, way straighter legs, aim the face, take a look, separate your feet. You know, now you're in a pretty good spot when you rotate to hit it. There's not going to be much thrusting either way. Okay, hopefully outcomes will be pretty decent. You get my point? Okay, so see how you tweak that on the walk-in? Don't get over the ball and futz around a ton. Kind of get there before you feet are a bit back behind it, sneak up on it a bit. And while you're doing that, you got the buns a bit more under, you're in the phone booth, waggle, waggle. Now you can rotate without your dynamics messing you about. Make sense? Yes. Yeah. Good. I like the phone booth feel. Cool.